Let's demonstrate axis recirculation. This is a cartoon of a patient's arm with the brachial artery and cephalic vein and a synthetic arterial venous graft connecting the two. Undialyzed blood leaves via the arterial needle and dialyzed blood returns via the venous needle and enters the systemic circulation. Axis recirculation occurs when dialyzed blood returning to the body re-enters the extracorporeal circuit through the arterial needle and therefore mixes with the undialyzed blood exiting the body. This decreases the urea concentration in the pre-filter blood, reduces the urea concentration gradient between blood and dialysate within the dialyzer, and therefore reduces dialysis efficiency. Let's take a look inside the AV graft to see why this happens. With a well-functioning dialysis access, unclean blood leaves via the arterial needle to enter the dialyzer. Clean or dialyzed blood from the dialyzer enters back into the body through the venous needle. Access recirculation occurs when the access blood flow, which normally averages one liter per minute, reduces to the range of 350 to 500 milliliters per minute due to axis stenosis. In case of a venous outflow stenosis, the dialyzed blood refluxes back into the graft and mixes with the undialyzed blood entering the dialyzer. Arterial inflow stenosis causes the axis blood flow to drop. When the prescribed blood pump rate is higher than what can be achieved due to axis inflow stenosis, the excessive negative pressure created by the blood pump within the axis pulls blood from the outflow tract of the axis circuit, resulting yet again in mixing of dialyzed and undialyzed blood.